someone a shout out. Romans 15 verse two says, each of us should please our neighbors for their good to build them up. And this is I've been seeing this classroom. We give people shout outs at the end of the day, every day, that um, showed Christ-like behavior. Okay, uh, let's see, Reese, what's your shout out? I noticed today that somebody didn't have anybody to play with and then Rogue asked if they, um, they wanted somebody to play with and then he played with them at recess. Awesome, well thanks for shouting out Rogue, that's great. Does anybody else have a shout out? Rogue. Um, what, uh, Reese was super, super, duper helpful. How cool, well thanks for shouting him out. says, do not look only to the interests of yours, but also to the interests of others. Pray for others and write it down. Ephesians 6 verse 18 says, be alert and pray for the Lord's people. In our third grade classroom, we offer a share prayer request. Mrs. Edison will write them down on the board right here. Then us students pick three of them to write down in our prayer journals for, to pray for others in the world. Say I'm sorry. I know for us kids it's pretty hard. But if you do it, it won't really feel bad just if you do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Say I forgive you. In the Bible, in Ephesians 4 verse 31, it says, um, let all um, bitterness go away from you. Practice saying I forgive you. Remember, you're not the only one around the school. The Bible says, always put others first. So remember that next time you're in the hallway. Happy eating! Slow down to see the world. Psalm 19 verses one says, the heavens declare the glory of the Lord, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. You know, Mr. Phil, he taught us that we can slow down so we can see the world. Oh no, Caleb dropped his pencil box. I'll go help him. Hey, did you notice Mr. Baker? Yeah, who's cleaning all those desks? He's, He's awesome. awesome. Be flexible. flexible. If there's ever a schedule change, um, Mrs. Iveson is always telling us to be cool, calm, and flexible, but not like that. <laughs> You might be wondering what empathy means. Well, in Mrs. Iveson's classroom, we've been learning about what it means. And this is what Google says. Empathy is the ability to understand the and share the feelings of another. So you're playing on the playground and having a good old time. But you see that your friend is not having a fun time. So you go over and talk to them. And that is empathy. So your friend got a cat and you really wanted one. Oh well, 